In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the hover effect on Wix. So when you hover over an image, it should change to a new one. So I'm going to show you how you can do that, right? So once you're inside of your Wix editor, you want to go to add elements. And then once this window opens, you want to then go to button, then go to image buttons. Now, don't worry about what image you're actually putting on your website here. You can just go ahead and drag any image on, right? Because we are going to change this later. So once you've got the image on, you can then go to change icon. And here you've got regular, hover, and clicked. So first we're going to change the regular image. So go change image. And we can then choose an image here to use. I'm just going to go ahead and upload an image. We'll upload from the computer. I'll upload just a YouTube thumbnail. So this thumbnail will do. We'll add this thumbnail. Okay, so once we've got this file uploaded, we can go ahead and select it. Alternatively, you can just go ahead and find photos or images from Wix, Shutterstock, or Upsplash. So now we've got that file uploaded and selected, we can now click apply. And now it's going to go ahead and apply that image. So now what we can do is we can go to the hover section and we can go ahead and change that image as well. So I'm going to then upload another thumbnail. So we'll upload this thumbnail this time, this Canva thumbnail. So we've got the CapCut thumbnail and a Canva thumbnail uploading. Okay, so we've got that one selected. We can now go and apply that. So now you can see for the regular image, we've got CapCut. And for the hover image, we've got Canva. Now you can choose whether you want transition effects. So if you go to regular, you can get the transition to dissolve. And you can also add a link if someone clicks on this icon to a different website or a different page and so on. But for just the basic hover transition, I'm just going to leave this all blank. You can also add a clicked image here. So when someone clicks on it, it will then change to a different image. But just for the visuals, I'll just leave that blank and I'll show you. So now we've got everything sorted. We can now go ahead and preview this and see if it's working. So now we've got our image. And if someone was to hover over it, you can see now it changes to the second image. If someone was to click on it and hold, it's going to go to the third image. So that's just how you can do it. It is very simple, and I hope that did help you out.